For the next couple of classes, we're going to be looking at prime numbers, and so it's important that we review what you know about prime numbers already. Um, and that way, when we start our next unit, you will be able to um, go right into it without worrying about the prime number aspect. So the first thing is we want to make sure that we can identify prime numbers. So prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one in itself. So two is a prime number, because the only way you can get two is two times one. Three is a prime number, because that's three times one. Four is one times four, but it's also two times two, so that is not a prime number. Five, the only way you can make five is five times one, so that's prime. Six is one times six, or two times three, so that's not prime. Seven is seven times one, and that's it. Eight is eight times one, and two times four, so that's not prime. Nine is nine times one, three times three, that can't be prime. Ten is ten times one, five times two, 11 is 11 times 1, 11 is prime. 12 is 1 times 12, or 2 times 6, or 3 times 4, so it's definitely not prime. 1 times 13 is prime. 14 is 1 times 14, 2 times 7, that's not prime. 15 is 1 times 15, and 3 times 5, that's not prime. 1, 16, 2, 8, there's others, but we know automatically if there's another group that that can't be prime. 17 is 17 times 1, 18 is 1 times 18, 2 times 9, nope, not prime. 1 and 19 is prime, 1 and 20, 2 and 10, that is not prime. So it is really important that you are able to identify what these prime numbers are off the top of your head. So we want to make sure that we make special notes that 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19 are prime numbers. We want to make sure that we can recall them pretty quickly. So next, let's talk about factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are all factors of 12. 1, 2, 3, 6 are all factors of 6. 1, 5, and 25 are all factors of 25. And 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18 are all factors of 18. So what are factors? Factors are numbers. multiply together. To make a specific number. So for example, factors of 24. So that would be 1 and 24, because 1 times 4 is 24. 2 and 12, 2 times 12 is 24. 3 and 8, 3 times 8 is 24. 4 times 6 is 24, um, and that's it. These are the factors of 24. Factors of 30 are 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10. Those are factors of 30. So when we talk about prime factorization, that means we're looking for the prime numbers that multiply together to make a specific number. So for example, 12 is 2 times 3 times 2. 18 is 3 times 3 times 2. So prime factorization are the prime numbers So factors are just a list of values that make the number. Here we have prime numbers that make that number. So I'm going to show you a method that we're going to be using in class called the birthday cake. The birthday cake is going to help us find all the prime numbers that go into a specific number. So for example, we want to find all the prime numbers that make 126. So I'm going to put 126 at the bottom and make that the first layer of my birthday cake. Now I need to think about the prime number that goes into 126. Well, two is prime, and I think two goes into 126. Two goes into 126 63 times. Then I need to think of another prime number that can go into 63. Three is a prime number, and three goes into 63 21 times. 21 is the next layer of my birthday cake. 
3 is a prime number that goes into 21. 7 is a prime number that goes into 7. And 7 goes into 7 one time. When I end with 1, that is the candle, that is the birthday cake. Another way I could do it is 126 divided by 2 is 63. 3 goes into 63, 21. 7 goes into 21 three times, and 3 goes into 3 once. Does it matter what order you put the prime numbers in? No, I have 2, 2, 3, 3, 7, 7, 3, 3. The order doesn't matter. What does matter is that these numbers in here are all prime. These are all prime numbers. So the prime factorization for 126 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. Let's do 225. 225 is the bottom of my cake. Since it ends in 5, and 5 is a prime number, I'm going to put 5 in there. So 5 goes into 225 45 times. A prime number that goes into 45, a lot of people are going to put 9. But 9 is not prime. So let's think of a prime number that goes into 45. How about 5? Five? 5 goes into 45 9 times. A prime number that goes into 9 is 3. A prime number that goes into 3 is 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1, so we're done. So these are our prime factors. A couple more just so we can get the hang of it. 65 is the bottom of our cape. I'm going to put 5 in there. 5 goes into 65 13 times. The prime number that goes into 13 is 13, and that gives me a 1. So the prime factorization is 5 and 13. And finally, we have 96. 3 goes into 96 32 times. 2 goes into 36 16 times. 2 goes into 16 8 times. Holy cannoli, this is long. Two goes into two once. All right, so it looks like we have three. One, two, three, four, five. Teacher's card interruption. 